guys, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market, and if you've been following along on this adventure, Michelle of Newton Cupboard, Newton's Cupboard, here she is, <laughs> has been visiting me for a week, and we have been hitting the town. We went to South Florida, Melbourne. We went north in Florida to Holly Hill. And so this video is the um, haul from the Beehive Antiques, I think it's called Beehive Antiques is how they go, in Holly Hill, Florida. Fantastic place, husband and wife team, My really favorite. great, Michelle's favorite. She loves to visit them when she comes to visit me. And they just have a really great chill atmosphere, got great mid-century, the vendors have great prices. So I got some goodies there and we're gonna go through that today. So first up, I got this sorter and it's letters, memos, and miscellaneous, and it's poodles, guys. So we love that. And it looks like the price tag was taken off, but I think I paid $12 for this. So that's a really cute piece that'll end up on my Etsy and eBay. Vanna, thank you, I appreciate it. Then, receipt's in front of you. oh yeah. By the way, my receipt's in front of me, which is why I got it, and Michelle just reminded me, so that's, that's why she's here. She's earning her keep. So my total spend for this day was $125, four, five, and I, I can't tell how many items because it says sets or not sets and all that stuff. So you'll see as we go through it. Yeah, I'll keep track for you. Okay. Okay, so that, yeah, the vintage poodle letter holder was $12. And now I don't think anything was on sale, but there was just good prices with room if you're a reseller. And if not, if you're looking to, to decorate your house, guys, this place is just, I love it. So I've become a bit of a fan of the velvet art and I did find, actually on Michelle's last visit here at the flea market, I found a $10 velvet tiger head painting and it sold for $100 and it was Mexico. So again, we're at the antique mall and there's a set of these velvet paintings with the praying boy and the praying girl. Now these are in those great vintage wood frames they were $10 each, but these will probably go 80 to $100 listed on my eBay and Etsy. And the boy is signed. So that is good that he is signed. So I can look that up because they are a set. And they're in really, really great condition. And I'm trying to see, I know I saw on one of them, the Mexico. It was probably on one of the frames. It says like Hecho, Hecho and Mexico. There you go, right there. So that's how you know it's the Mexican art because it says it on the bottom. So we got those. Now as I'm, Michelle's helping me so that once she leaves and I go back to work, I don't have as much. She's kind of wiping stuff down as I'm showing you guys. So that's awesome. And she didn't see what I got necessarily because when we got there, I went one way and she went the other way and Lori Blue Flamingo was with us, went the other way. So we were all looking at different stuff. Like yeah, because we were trying to give each other space to record different things. Okay, so this is the leaf. Look at that beautiful USA pottery. It's like, it's probably, it was an ashtray, but it's a leaf trinket dish. Purse base. This was only $6. I love the beautiful blue glazing on this. No chips or cracks. It's a very nice condition. It looks like it may have had a little touch up on the bottom here, but overall that was a very nice piece. And we're just gonna throw the paper for the cats over there for now. And then what else do we have in here? We'll go through these last. These are some great vintage calendars. He actually called um, the, the person whose booth it was because they weren't priced. And I offered to take all of them and I got them all for $8 each. Instead of, I think they were $10 each, so I got a little discount. Hi, John. I am. He's like, are you recording? We are. Hashtag. Hashtag Team John. Then I picked up these because I thought they were funky. They remind me of surfboards. Now they do have some wear, but I mean, they're vintage. So these will be in my Etsy shop. They're these cool kind of wave I'll keep them as a set, candles. Um, I think they're they're called tulip. They like look like the tulip leaves. Shh, we're filming here. So loud. So loud. John's been dealing with Michelle and I for like, what, four days now? <laughs> I've been 
<clears throat> so the candle set was only five dollars so i thought they were really cute for spring i know some like i said some of the paints peeling but they're great they're fun we've got two more goodies in this bag and they've got these great like grr bags Oh yeah, so I did get some more art. So these are like the Italian Florentine style where they've got the wood and the gold and the flowers. That's right, I was putting it on the floor, sorry. I couldn't remember what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these actually say made in Italy. And Kim, if you're watching, I'm thinking of you. So they're this set of pretty Italian, like the Florentine art. So for the set of these two, belt art no it was $12 for the set which I thought was good $6 each so those will be in my eBay and Etsy shop so lots of goodies coming to you guys as soon as I can get them listed now for this one I channeled my inner Jocelyn crazy lamp lady because like I do like watch them sometimes and I'm like wow she picks up some cool stuff so I try to look for something different and I got this oh that's cute um, and of course, I just noticed a ding that's been touched up on the side, but this is, those are the mowers. <laughs> They're doing a great job. So this vase was only $6 and it's this lovely oriental scene with inlaid mother of pearl. And it does have one little touched up chip on the rim, but I still think that this will be a lovely, and I can't tell if it's hand painted because it's been glazed, so you can't really feel the paint but I'm guessing it was hand painted, glazed over, and then has the mother of pearl inlay. So this was one of my, I'm gonna take a chance, something different and see how it does for only $6. That didn't feel like too much of a risk. Oh, and then, so I did buy John a piece of Art Deco New York art, a poster. That's already tucked away in his, his room. And then for my trivet collection, I got this for me. It says, I finally got it all together, but I forgot where I put it all. That's about the story of my life. And this style I put in the kitchen section of my cupboard here. They don't go on my snarky wall. They're doing such a good job with the lawn out there. They're going over the same spot because they know I'm filming. Isn't that the second time they've been through? Yeah, it's the second time they've been through. <laughs> we have a common area, so it's the, um, the community mowers are out. They literally mowed it at 9 a.m. They were here at nine o'clock. They're being extra efficient. They're like, oh, they're filming? That's okay. So that's my trivet. I'm excited for that. And then, ooh, so Michelle spotted this one because she knows I do collect some pig banks, but I'm kind of picky. <laughs> so she showed me this in case I wanted it for my collection, but I decided to get it for resale because it was only $6. And look, he's a cowboy. He's a cowboy pig. He's ceramic. He's Taiwan. Yep. And he's, he actually, I guess he's ceramic. I thought for a minute he might have had some paper mache to him, but no, he's ceramic. He's in great condition. He's super cute. Like I said, some of the vendors at the Beehive, they just had great prices. So this will be fun. I'm determined. Although I have like 10 banks, I've not sold in my Etsy, I'm determined to sell a bank. So I'm just gonna keep trying. And so I'm hoping the cowboy will get it done. Okay. And then I channeled my inner Michelle and I got this pillow. And it's the, um, would this be, this isn't cruel, this is embroidered because it's, it's embroidered. I don't know which way it goes. No smells, which is nice. And the pillow was $12, but I loved all the bright, beautiful coloring on it. Again, spring decor, Etsy and eBay. Okay, now these are the fun ones that Michelle didn't get to see. So I picked up a set of vintage felt calendars. So these are all like that um, felt material, and then they have really cool beadwork. And because I got all five, they gave me a deal of $8 each. So I'm gonna stand for these. Now this one has winter, spring, summer and fall, summer and autumn on it, and it's 1974 with the beaded birds. Here you go, Michelle, so you can see it. Oh, that's your year. 
Huh? Not, no, that's not your year. That's not my year. That's Don's year. That's Don's year. So you have all the birds. So that's, I thought that was pretty. And I like that it had the four seasons on it and then the, the different birds and it looked to be in good condition. So this 1976 one has every single month has like a holiday graphic. Oh, that is cute. Now there is substantial browning to the back of this one, but you can see like New Year's has the embroidery. You have the March, the May Bride, the Back to School, the Summer Sun, there's Santa. You've got your turkey and I love the little Halloween guy. Yeah. But like I said, there is like browning to the back of this one from age, but they do smell a little antique story, but Very these well. would roll up easy. I probably just need to get some of those tubes and have those handy and I can just roll them right into the tubes. Oh, this one's oh. really pretty too. Home is where the heart is and it's these beautiful birds nesting in all these 70s orange colors. And the seeds are, beads are coming off. I can hear them. No, that's yours. The next one. That's yeah. the beads. I saw the blue go. And I, now guys, I have never looked these up. I just am going purely off of aesthetic on these. I thought they were really cool. I love the coloring. I love the look of them. This one, again, has that kind of brown staining to it and a mild odor, so I'll just have to disclose that. This one is my hubby's year but look at the butterflies. This was the first one I saw, and I'll be honest, like I brought up the whole rack to the guy having seen this one, and I really didn't look at the others, I was just trying to get the price, and when they said they'd do a deal, I just took them all. And too bad I didn't have your John's and yours. Yeah, that would have been cool, but you're right, so this was like 70, so we have 73, 78, 75, 76, yeah, so what if it was like 74, tubes, you know? 75, yeah. 76, 78. It's really neat. So, I mean, we don't have things like this now. Mm -mm. That's got all the cool butterflies. Oh, this is a great side shot. <laughs> and last but not least, for you super bird lovers, this one's for you. I hear sequins falling on my floor. The cats will find them. 1975. So I'm gonna go ahead and look these up online. Now these, I won't store in my garage. I will store these probably hanging behind my studio bedroom door or something, just cause I don't want the Florida heat to further age anything. Michelle's over here. Look guys, she's so awesome. She's like cleaning stuff as I'm hauling it so that like, it's not so crazy for me later on. Labor. I know, I'm, I'm forced labor. Hey, we took you for sushi. <laughs> I was good. So I'm going to be, because yeah, I hear the beads coming off, so I'm going to have to carefully store these. But that's it, guys. That is the haul. Okay, we'll just kind of gently sit in front of them. So don't forget Beehive Antiques, Holly Hill, Florida. You will have seen the shop with me and all their infos below. I will link it here again. And Michelle has a haul because she was there too. So I'll be sure to link that below, and I'll be back shopping with you all soon.